Alright, so these are going to be a huge, heavy set of 304 stainless steel disc brake calipers, which that is actually what the guy is looking for. He's looking for something big and heavy. There's a whole lot more milling that still has to happen to these. I'm just uh, got some nice square blocks. Starting to drill a bunch of the holes in it. Uh, the holes that I just drilled are these two ports here that are at 45 degree angles. Uh, so I was didn't really have any things sophisticated to hold them at 45 so what I did is I took a set of tall soft jaws that I had and I drilled some holes in it for quarter inch dowel pins. Uh, these are actually some old broken carbide end mills. Um, I could lie and say someone else broke all these, but that was me. I have quite a few of these, unfortunately. So I just drilled these holes so that you can take it, put it in there, like so, clamp the part, and then I have to take it and drill the other hole. So I take these pins out, and I can flip them around. If they come out, and if they go back in, like so, basically, and then I can take it and put it back in the other way. So that seemed to work out pretty well. Um, I put them in such a way that I could zero off the edge of my vise. Um, worked out pretty good. This way I did not have to make a custom fixture just to do this. Um, all I had to do was put a few sets of holes in these jaws, which you know I can still use these for a number of things when I'm done. So that is how I did that and there is going to be a lot more work to do on these. I've already already done quite a bit but I will try to make some videos showing the other steps and um, what they look like when they're done. Okay, so here is one uh, after I do the uh, the angled holes that I just did. Uh, next, I am putting in the the bore for the pistons, and there's a couple O-ring grooves in there. But you can see, or hopefully, you can see where the hole down here at the bottom. So those are the two holes that I drilled over here which are going to allow the fluid to go from one piston to the next. I had never taken apart a set of calipers before this. So I never really saw how they worked. So right now in the machine, I'm cutting the, uh, 
the O-ring gro O-ring grooves with a wood rough cutter, so it might get really loud here in a second when it does a heavy cut. But it is taking quite a while. Um, that's my runtime so far, and I'm not done. So it it's cutting it. It's it's a whole lot slower than I thought it would be. Again, I'm used to running things on Haas machines, which are definitely definitely more stout. I am impressed with the uh, accuracy of the Tormach, but again, I mean, this really isn't, I don't think, what they had in mind when they made their machine. But I just wanted to show you that, and I've got a video, and it's getting ready to get noisy, so I will stop.